उंटेंट्स Uh, they can deal either with income tax or uh, gst my father deals with both uh, income tax as well as gst uh, and earlier we used to also do vat uh, when gst was not ruled out uh, yes sir that's what i can and and prime minister in one of the conferences of cas talked about unethical behavior unethical advice by the cas to the clients yes sir you know what that uh, yes sir mm-hmm. Uh, so many a times, uh, chartered accountants advise for uh, tax evasions and tax avoidance also, and they can also, uh, if they want to behave unethically, they can manipulate the audit reports, especially of banks uh, where they go for statutory audits uh, mandated by the RBI, and also for concurrent audits as well. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. You yeah, are not filled up police service. Uh, yes, sir. Why? Uh, so actually, uh, the physical requirements for the police service is one sixty seven for height, height. and okay. I am one sixty five centimeters. Or, so or something you got from your mother's experience, mother's uh, experience no. as a judge. Yeah? Uh, no, sir. I am one sixty five centimeter, and I don't qualify uh, for the physical requirements. Okay, she has dealt with criminal cases also. Uh, yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. Any any experience which she would have shared with you, with uh, the family? so she does shares but currently she uh, deals with uh, family matters uh, uh, any any family matter experience sharing uh, so she keeps sharing about uh, cases where the uh, uh, couples demand for uh, custody of the child and how there are conflicts and how in one one of the cases uh, the education of child was getting hampered because parents were fighting for custody mm-hmm. and yes sir mostly laws are in favor of women hmm? uh, all yes. these domestic violence and dowry harassment and all anything came to your mother's notice that it is other way around harassment is from girl side to the boy side um uh, see if she has shared with you uh sir uh, it's not actually harassment that she shared but many a times uh, lawyers uh, lawyers have a big role to play and what uh, the parties produce before the court and at many times lawyers uh, basically uh, prolong the cases and uh, try to uh, try to uh, mm-hmm. force the uh, male party to uh, surrender at many times so yes. okay uh, we have lot of coal and coal mines lignite mines mines yes sir recently some news was there the government is doing some auctions e auctions read about that Uh, sorry, sir. It skipped my attention. Not right. Defence purchases. Cabinet has cleared some defence purchases some two three days back. Uh, sorry, sir. Came in not... paper. Sorry, sir. Light combat uh, combat helicopters or something. No. Uh, sorry, sir. I, I I'll read more. Sure. Gyanwapi Mosque. Yes, sir. Heard of that? Ah, uh, yes, sir. And what is that? Ah. Uh, what and what is the controversy? Uh, so it's a mosque uh, situated in uh, city of Varanasi, and uh, basically the controversy, uh, the media controversy is that uh, there's a uh, 
territorial dispute between the exact place or uh, whether it is uh, reconstructed or constructed over a, a former temple so the controversy uh, lies around these uh, facets which was the former temple so they say that uh, the current uh, temple of uh, shiva the shrine of shiva uh, was actually uh, where the mosque is situated uh, today uh, yes sir this type of controversies are there at uh, at two three other places also can you name them uh, so one was the uh, ram mandir uh, not of exactly of uh, shiva temple but uh, yes ah, in yes. ayodhya temple mosque yeah, yes sir hmm. and so the other one is in that mathura that is solved uh, so we are uh, trying to uh, so uh, on legally it has been <coughs> solved uh, yes sir, legally it has been solved then what is left if legally solved <coughs> so because of uh, uh, this issue many other issues are uh, springing up uh, we have uh, we have solved the ayodhya issue but because of this many such uh, similar issues are emerging in different parts uh, so i am asking which are those places one or two places uh, so one is uh, uh, varanasi the other uh, they say is mathura uh, yes sir i can recall these two now uh, in today's uh, days when government is having lot of laws and uh, public awareness is there yes. some very inhuman acts are still taking place yes sir can you name them one one or two um, sir rape is one such uh, heinous crime okay 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 uh, so uh, disturbing of uh, public order and uh, disturbing of law and order by yes, lynching that has been there since long and by uh, lynching people ah, based okay, on okay, uh, yeah. fake news any any other which which can be solved through scientific means through mechanical means so uh, does this question pertain to crimes uh, i'm asking you it is uh, sewage people getting into sewage pipelines are yes, getting sir. suffocated and killed yes sir yes sir right chemical engineering right uh, what are the subject uh, studied pharmaceutical technology with uh, Pharma. chemical engineering subjects yes, okay and uh, what was your role in the uh, company that you have worked uh, glenmark pharmaceuticals sir uh, i was in the operations department and i i was given some projects at the initial level i was only there for 3 months so initially uh, i was trained and then i was given a project to uh, do pro small project to do and that's what i did there why did you leave the job um sir uh, when i uh, decided that i should prepare for the civil services exam uh, my job was in operations and i could not dedicate uh, full time for the preparation and yes sir, that's why i had to uh, resign so why the idea of civil services i think you could have done very well in this sector it's always a evergreen sector also Uh, yes sir uh, so uh, after joining the job i realized and i uh, i was motivated for the civil services uh, because of the opportunity uh, that it provides and also because uh, so because uh, the prospects of how a good civil servant can uh, impact the uh, developmental journey in his or her area and in his or her capacity and so i am also interested in the secretarial uh, roles as they are key in uh, keeping things moving in the government and also uh, get things done for the government and i think this would be uh, very satisfying for me uh, that's getting why i getting things choose. done for the government or for the politicians so for the government and government is for the people so okay. uh, what is evergreening of patents in pharmaceutical industry uh, yes sir so uh, generally patents are granted for 20 years but companies uh, try to extend it by making minor changes to formulations or its uh, therapeutic uses or its process and then prolong the patents so that uh, generic industry uh, doesn't get access to it so this is evergreen okay uh, you have also taken agriculture as your option uh, yes sir why Uh, so initially i was interested in agriculture but and even after going through the uh, syllabus of many optionals uh, for the this exam uh, i found agriculture to be engaging and also uh, doable at the same time so i decided to go with it okay how is climate change going to affect indian agricultural patterns and crops yes sir 
Uh, so climate change is triggering global warming and this in turn is making uh, the pattern of rainfall erratic. The amount, intensity, uh, distribution uh, of rainfall is the pattern is getting disturbed. So the main thing is it will also uh, make the traditional knowledge of farmers obsolete because of these changes. And apart from this, uh, it's giving rise to various uh, emergence of uh, pests out of season, like we see, saw the locust attacks. And uh, so these are uh, some major changes I, uh, I can recall right now. Droughts and all? Uh, yes, sir, the uh, erratic changes in rainfall and frequent uh, dry spells and droughts uh, would surely uh, increase in the coming times. Okay. What is any government policy or scheme to fight the climate change in agriculture? Uh, so the government is running a mission uh, for sustainable agriculture, uh, which basically focus focuses to cater to this uh, these changing uh, changes that are uh, yet to come, that are coming actually. In my own experience, what I've seen is that uh, generally the sons and daughters of chartered accountant they take up chartered accountant uh, accountancy as a profession. Yes, Any reason why you didn't take it and rather went uh, you know into the science stream? Uh, so at that time, uh, after uh, passing twelfth, uh, after passing tenth, especially, uh, I was interested in engineering uh, since that. And basically, my motivation was to get into this particular college because I have seen many people. Uh, I was motivated for this particular college, and I uh, tried for the same in my twelfth standard. So interest in engineering is the only reason, so why I did not uh, pick uh, accountancy. You are from Sholapur? Uh, yes, sir. How did you come to Delhi? Which is the nearest airport for you? Uh, sir, Pune. Pune, my God. Quite a distance again. How many? Two. Yes, what sir. is the distance between Sholapur and Pune? Sir, 240 kilometers. 240 kilometers. Yes, sir. So, you, go, you went by road or by train? Sir, uh, currently road? I am staying in Pune. Uh, Achha, you are staying in Pune? Yes, sir. Because that does everything. Okay. Achha. Pune, then of course you have direct flight. Uh, sir, I took a train actually. Uh, ha, you are, yes, uh, that's fine. Okay, tell me something about Cholapur. The one is the temple famous. What is that famous temple? So it's in Pandarpur, uh, the center of uh, bhakti movement in in the mm. region. Mm. It's a temple of uh, dedicated to Vithoba, a form Vithoba. of uh, Lord Krishna. Mm. And uh, a sect called Varkari sect is uh, greatly devoted uh, to the deity there. Mm. Uh, so yes. So on a particular day, lakhs of people come. They walk, no? Yes, sir. And they make rangolis for miles together. Yes, and all. Sir, yes sir. I have seen. I have been there yes, once sir. only. It's a very nice temple. Yes, sir. It's on the eleventh day of Ashad uh, month. Mm. Uh, mm. Yes, they gather there. Mm. That's very good. And Kolapur, how far is Kolapur from Sholapur? Uh, so it's uh, six hours journey. Six from hours, huh? Yes, sir. Achha, then Satara and all that. Oh, good. <coughs> now. Window dressing, I mean, you said evergreening, it's also yes. known as window dressing. Yes. So, what is compulsory licensing? It is all in that context, no? Yes, what sir. is compulsory licensing of the WTO? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, so, suppose a manufacturer, uh, suppose a voluntary licensing by a company uh, doesn't succeed and the company is exploiting its position of having uh, the patent uh, and its uh, price. Uh, uh, Actually, unarbitrarily high prices are being charged, and uh, there's a sh artificial shortage of the uh, product. Then, any person can actually go for uh, try for voluntary licensing. But if it fails, it can go to the government and ask for a license for for a comp uh, compulsory license to be granted, so that uh, the manufacturer can uh, start manufacturing it and uh, fill the gaps that are there in no, the market. No, but what is the role of WTO in this? Right, it's all WTO thing. Yes, not sir. the government. That way, every government will try. Is it given for anything and everything, or specific serious diseases only? Uh, sir, and for yes. some parts of the world, not everywhere. Uh, yes, sir. Huh. Uh, Mainly Africa, in particular. Yes, sir. Uh, tell me now. Uh, so it's given in uh, extraordinary circumstances only, hmm. uh, when prices are too high or there's a shortage of uh, drug, hmm. and all uh, means for voluntary licensing fail. Uh, then manufacturers can approach uh, to seek a compulsory license. Can you recall one classic case wherein Supreme Court also gave its judgment, the Indian case product, which product and which company? Uh, so does this pertain to Novartis uh, yes, Pharma's case? That's right. Uh, yes, so sir. what was the judgment? 
uh, sir i think after that the honorable supreme court uh, asked the government to make amendments to the patents act to uh, stop or to uh, refrain companies from ever greening uh, the patents window and it dressing. was related to anti diabetic uh, drugs they use the word window dressing uh, ever yes, greening but window dressing the word the supreme court used yes sir thank uh, you okay now in this covid situation has a similar thing come up for the vaccine and all uh, yes sir it and has india come up india is also having some view on that is uh, what exactly is the issue uh, so india along with like minded countries like south africa we are mm. pushing for a uh, patent waivers and wto mm. and the discussions are still going on uh, there were uh, media news that some consensus has been reached uh, uh, a week ago uh, but yes sir still but others yeah. are putting some condition uh, uh, yes sir, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> restrictions This are wto important. is terrible i tell you okay now <clears throat> in india how do we price the drugs there is a agency which does that for yes. essential drugs which uh, is the agency uh, so the government has constituted a national pharmaceutical pricing agency hmm. and it has been mandated under a dpco hmm. uh, the ministry of health basically comes out with a list of national uh, essential medicines hmm. and then the nppa uh, comes has its own formula to uh, regulate the uh, pricing of drugs and in that way it controls but yeah. uh, after 2013 it has moved towards more market oriented approach to uh, regulate the drug pricing right what are generic drugs so generic drugs are uh, similar formulations which have same api as that of a patented drug but excipients can be different but they show same uh, therapeutic effect uh, yes sir when you see so now uh, every now and then we run into fda us yes sir, yes, sir. Ah. So what is the issue? Why do they do that? No, no. FDA every now and then they put some condition. No, about our drugs manufactured in yes, India, sir. you can't market them straight away. Huh? Yes, sir. So what is the purpose and why it's happening? Uh, so the US FDA has very stringent regulations when it comes to good manufacturing practices and also quality <laughs> control and quality assurance. Then, when, then later on they agree also. Huh? Yes, sir. these are very standard ready lab and all that isn't it yes sir yes so there are political things also it is not strict yes, i okay what your option is sorry um, agriculture ah uh, yes sir ah uh, good now tell me about the cotton and maharashtra bt cotton where it's grown and what are the issues yes sir ah uh, so bt cotton uh, Now, which is district in Maharashtra? You don't have all over. Ah uh, yes, sir. Hmm. So it's generally grown in uh, regions of Marathwada and hmm. uh, Vidarbha. Vidarbha. Yes, sir. And do you get rain there? Ah uh, no, sir. Uh, no rain. Yes, sir. There. Okay. Ah, uh, what are the issues? So issues are uh, frequent dry spells and droughts in these regions have uh, made to uh, crop failures and farmers are not getting uh, pricing uh, pri uh, remunerative prices for their produce. and this has also increased the number of suicides in suicides. Uh, these two regions and uh, so as per uh, dr swaminathan's uh, article uh, it also says that it has been a failure bt cotton because it the price uh, the yields have stagnated over years and it's adding no more uh, it's not increasing the productivity now uh, which is the other state where this cotton is grown neighboring state so gujarat gujarat there we don't hear much of a problem i don't know why the suicides are not taking place anyway ah <laughs> uh, yes <laughs> okay what are your hobbies last ha uh, 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 what are your hobbies like you have any hobby ah uh, yes sir uh, tell me i know so i play tabla tabla uh, ah yes, great that's nice so some eminent uh, tabla players past or present father and son tell me <laughs> father and son so uh, the most famous maestros uh, ustad allah rakha khan and his son ustad zakir hussain very good and sir uh, yes sir okay that's fine now tell me you have tabla in the north basically yes sir but in the south we have something similar can you name those instruments sir in south we have mridangam mridangam uh, in tamil nadu we have ghatam it's ghatam. basically a pot it's a pot yes sir ghatam. very good uh, so and then ganjira ganjira is like ah uh, yes sir yes sir they right. play in that thank you uh, very good it's a good uh, hobby i hope you continue playing this especially if you get posted in a remote area with all problems uh, you yes, start sir. playing tabla you will feel better uh, maybe yes. now also before the interview playing badminton yes, all england badminton tournament what happened 
India did we perform there? Men, women, what is the position? Uh, so, Mr. Laksha Sain uh, ended runner up. He came. Uh, very creditable, no? Ah, yes, sir. Earlier, two Indians have won this. Can you name them? All England Open. Who? So, I am not able to recall right Akash now. Akash Padukone and Gopi Chand. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Thank hmm. you. Good. Yoga. What sort of yoga? You follow any particular school or just Ram Dev or what? What sort of yoga? Uh, sir, not any particular school, but I hmm. do mix of all physical postures as well as meditation. Uh, yes, sir. That's After I'm seeing TV programs or what? You have to have some idea, no? <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, yeah. I follow some YouTube channels. Uh, YouTube. Yes, sir. Thank you. Have you heard of Delhi Mumbai Expressway? Uh, yes, ma'am. You know about it. What is it? Uh, um, it uh, basically aims to uh, shorten the distance and cut the time that is required and it passes through uh, states of Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh. And, uh, so, cut the time of what? Because as it is, we have flights, we have other uh, means of transport to reach to Mumbai. So, what are some of the key features? How is it is going to help? I am not able to recall all, but I do remember that uh, they are also uh, uh, they are also aiming sustainability by uh, by uh, constructing uh, corridors, uh, wildlife pass yeah. corridors in regions of Ranthambore in Rajasthan and Sariska Tiger Reserve basically there in that region. I recall this right now. Anything for commercial vehicles? Any help? Any support? No. Uh, sorry, ma'am. Okay, I have no to read. Problem. Okay. Uh, recently, there has been study on microplastic in human blood. Uh, yes, so, mm. have you heard about it? Uh, yes, ma'am. It's I have. been there in the news from last couple of days. Uh, so, yes, what exactly is that? What is the study about? Uh, ma'am, it says that the concentration of microplastics is increasing and it can be fatal in coming years. Are you sure it will be fatal? Have you read about it? Ma'am, I actually uh, follow some YouTube channels, so I did not read it. I realize I should have known this and I'll yeah. surely read more about this. Yes, and what is coral bleach? Uh, Ma'am, it's uh, the negative impact of uh, global warming and climate change, wherein uh, increasing temperatures or uh, uh, increasing sea levels basically, uh, the between the corals and the, uh, the species that contribute to it, algae and the polyps, it gets disturbed and uh, What's the difference between coral reef and coral bleach? Sorry, ma'am. Difference between coral reef and coral bleach. Uh, ma'am, coral reefs are basically uh, the the mutual uh, relationship uh, between polyps and algae, and the the deposition is called coral reef. Whereas coral uh, coral bleach is uh, an impact or a result of uh, increasing global uh, warming and climate change and they basically uh, lose their colors and mm. th that, that, that's right. what they call it bleaching. So why is it so important coral reef? Uh, Ma'am they are generally uh, referred to as rainforests of the seas and they support uh, support fish uh, populations uh, in the uh, below the below water mm. and also they are important for uh, tourism uh, purposes and they also act the types of corals like atolls and uh, barriers they act as uh, uh, support for uh, act against uh, increasing wave sea waves uh, if it uh, if it's not okay posh uh, what is posh uh, ma'am it's an uh, act to it's an act for prevention of uh, sexual harassment of women at workplaces Yes. Is there any provision for false complaint in POSH? I am not sure about this. As we just discussed that there is a possibility and since you know law is mostly towards women so there is a, a lot of probability that false complaints uh, will right. come. Yes, so uh, are there any provision for such false complaint according to the law? Are you aware of it? I am not sure about it. Okay. Drones in agriculture. How do you see that? How do you see the future of drones in agriculture? 
Ma'am, uh, certainly technological interventions like drones uh, would increase the productivity of Indian agriculture. Mm -hmm. uh, they can be used for uh, spraying of pesticides for uh, nutrients. Has this started? Uh, Ma'am, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, the budget, this year's budget uh, aims for this to make uh, Kisan drones more available to farmers. And it's also, uh, ha it has also announced provisions so that KVKs and uh, agri uh, startups and FPOs can actually uh, have drones so that they can lend it to farmers. So where all these drones are used in agriculture apart from spring? Uh, they can be used for uh, assessment of crops, for surveillance, for uh, insurance, uh, for insurance purposes, also for uh, assessing the uh, various technologies if in so uh, integrated with drones. Tell us three advantages of using drones. Ah, yes ma'am. Ma'am, firstly, uh, spraying of nutrients, fertilizers. So uh, how is it an advantage? Advantage. Yeah. So um, spraying is done manually also. How is this more beneficial? Drones, yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, uh, firstly, it will be uh, more uniform uh, if uh, sprayed through uh, technology using drones, and also it would uh, lessen the uh, lessen the indiscriminate uh, use of fertilizers. It would be calculated using variable rate technologies, uh, so that the is it going to be more expensive or cheaper? Ma'am, I'm not aware of the exact economics. Because cost but is an important factor. Uh, yes, ma'am. That is why the government is pushing for FPOs and agri startups to uh, and KVKs to actually own the drones and then lend it to farmers on some uh, working model. Mm -hmm. Exact economics, I'm not aware. Okay, tell us. This is the last question. Tell us about uh, Sri Lanka economic crisis and what is the latest yes, and how is India engaging itself with Sri Lanka. Uh, Ma'am, Sri Lanka is uh, neck deep in debt and it's uh, about to default. Uh, what has led to it? Yes, Ma'am. Uh, Ma'am, Sri Lankan economy uh, heavily dependent, uh, was heavily dependent on tourism, which was worse hit by the COVID-19 induced lockdowns. Apart from this over dependence on uh, Chinese projects and uh, media reports also say that uh, there's a lot of corruption in the country because of select few of the same family own key positions like the president, prime minister, finance minister. And apart from this, uh, Sri Lanka announced a blanket ban on uh, chemical fertilizers last year. Uh, so that, and this has led to a gr uh, sudden decrease in yields of uh, agriculture and- So what is your view on that? The banning on these chemical fertilizers, was it a good move? Uh, Ma'am, I do think we should uh, start to move from uh, chemical intensive to more uh, sustainable and organic farming but this can be done gradually in phased manner uh, so that yields are not lost and we suddenly uh, don't turn uh, a deficit country and uh, depend heavily on imports uh, from outside. How is India engaging itself with Sri Lanka? Yes, Ma'am, Ma India has announced a uh, 1 billion dollar uh, worth credit line uh, to Sri Lanka and apart from this we are engaging it uh, with uh, different deals like the Trincomalee uh, uh, fuel uh, Trincomalee uh, uh, deal. How is it going to help India in terms of relation, international relations? Yes, Ma'am, uh, ma recently India also signed uh, key, uh, some defense agreements with Sri Lanka. So uh, strategically, uh, yes, it will help us to uh, keep a check on uh, Chinese, uh, increasing Chinese presence in uh, Sri Lanka and their increasing uh, uh, impacts on the Chinese, uh, Sri Lankan domestic politics as well. Uh, and we are also uh, building on people-to-people uh, -people, uh, uh, relations uh, with the Sri Lankans so that we have a longer-term advantage. Okay, fine. Thank you. Uh, thank you, ma'am.